Start against fourth at Brockville with three beaten just once in the last nine games, but they found it tough going against Alec Totten's men. Colin McDonald going close. Falkirk made the early running with Scott Crabb clearly in the mood to add to his nine goals this season. He would have to wait a little longer for goal number 10, but David Hagen also carried a goal thread for the Bairns. While others have been grabbing the headlines, Falkirk have been quietly getting on with things. Perhaps it's just expected now they'll be near the top, but clearly this quality at Brockville and a fine move ends with a good finish from Hagen. It's a precision finish for his third goal of the season. The Rovers have shown they can be dangerous themselves, and Alec Burns brings out the best in Miles Hogarth. More danger for Rovers before the break. It's Ian Morris on the right with the cross, and if Colin McDonald was just two inches taller. Well, we've seen horror films from the Rovers' defence in football first this season. Mark this down another X certificate. Paul Brown plays the zombie this time. McDonald takes advantage, and so does Scott Crabb. Guido van de Kamp keeps the Bairns out that time, but the corner finds him isolated with three Falkirk players waiting to pounce. The final touch is from Crabb. Watch this one again, it's a back heel from Crabb that sends the ball over the line. Some consolation for Wraith near the end, Didier Agathe pulls one back to set up a nail-biting finish, but by then the damage had been done, Falkirk leaped for Rovers into third. All in all, I thought it was a team performance, and uh, that's the most important thing we keep emphasising here at Falkirk, it's very much a team effort. And uh, I'm pleased to say we won today and we deserve to win because it was important to bounce back and get a victory after last week's result. The folk are very much in the promotion race and in there on merit. That's got to be pleasing. Yeah, well, as everyone knows, the last couple of seasons we've finished second and uh, so I've got to try and get in the, the top three. This season it's so, so important. So we're striving for that. Obviously, we're a bit short in uh, depth as regards experienced players, but young kids have come in, they've equipped themselves very, very well. And it's all credit to them. A lot of good young boys coming through here at Falkirk now, which is very encouraging for the club. But I say it was an excellent game, good advert for first division football, and obviously um, a very good result for us.